<sighs> I don't know what, but I got into feeling of music now. So, um, of course, I don't have the actual creativity of my thing of music videos, but how in the fuck are you going to make a music video that is one minute? Anyways, this song is created back in 2020 when COVID hit, and at that time, I was writing it before we went into lockdown. We caught it. I was about to put in the second verse. Well, because of COVID, I can't put in the second verse. So I put in the first verse, and I just took it, made it as a freestyle, cut the three minutes off, and put it as 1.5 minutes. And when I made that song, it completely, completely shows how much I feel inside. I just want to die. At the time, I had personal demons going on. Still to this day, personal demons. And it's affecting the shit out of me. But at the time, it was nothing but what am I supposed to do? I'm in production class. And I have things I my mind just cannot stop telling me things I don't want to hear. And it's three songs, four songs, four projects in to after Mental Hospital. And Mental Hospital, of course, I talked about suicide in that song, Leave Me Now. Um, along with I Just Want to Die. I did make the second part but that song I don't I just want to erase it out of existence because it's a not that good and B I don't want to deal with it anymore um, because well hell I got another project gonna explain to that um, the album cover if you guys don't know the chat cover that's from Big B films aka Ben Rodriguez he's the one that created He's the one that basically took the photo. And when he took the photo, it's when I was in 11th grade. So when he took it, that's when, um, let's just say, I'm trying to remember. That's when he found a perfect opportunity. It was a production class, radio TV broadcasting class. And at that time, he... See, we've seen this one particular light that show shining white with basically at nothing because we have a set behind us and this one light is just sight shining there and it was just completely we don't know why but it we just they just roll with it we just roll with it he found an opportunity and took a picture of me with my back with my with facing with my back facing him and my head turned this way. And I have my tablet right over here. This is before I got a phone. And I took that album, I took that photo that he took and he sent it to me. I took it. I, I post the actual one on Instagram. But I took the photo and I twisted it into um, what we know now as the I Just Wanna Die cover. And I think that's the first original track. Um, original chat cover and album cover that we made <laughs> because of that um, along with the other one the remix the remix I made is because I'm too afraid of being like oh my god I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna get music out I'm not gonna make music so I went contacted somebody and I got hate sama on my remix so if you want a remix music video please don't I don't want to make it that but there's one of course of is a stock photo thing. I went to stock videos, and of course, you know the website I went. And it shows right in the middle of the goddamn video, and I hate it the most. That's because of I just went in and don't want to pot buy for a license and got the videos for free. And look at that. This is an official music video. Of course, I have another one. It's poorly made no background into it but this one I just kind of feel like I needed to make this well not needed to make this I just in the mood of making a music video when I made that um, at this point 
a one minute song for I Just Wanna Die it just shows everything that I feel. And I'm glad and proud of that song because I dealt with fake people in my fucking life. Still dealt with them, dealing with them and dealt with them and you get the point. And um, and I will deal with some in the future. So <laughs> this song is basically just me tired of it and tired of anxiety and tired of depression and tired of how many mistakes I made in my life. To this day, I'm still regretting some new mistakes that I made and shit like that. But at the same time, this song gives me an opportunity of taking all these suicidal thoughts out of my head and into a song. And that's why I love music the most. When Mental Hospital came out, I made so many songs. Target target hard I feel like I'm target but I'm a target towards reality that reality is targeting me and I don't like it I've been stuck in my imagination for too long and in my own world so I made that song believe me now is another suicide song I wrote at the beginning the first words of just talking how I feel and the, the ending it was just me it's my mind basically telling me Write a letter, write, write that goodbye letter, take that knife, slit your throat, that's it. That's why I made Leave Me Now. I found an outlet, and I'm seeing it now, due to how many things I'm dealing with right now. Um, that music always comes into me, and it always that part of me. And now I felt this energy that just distracting me from the pain that I'm feeling now by telling the pain, telling my pain, and I'm glad for that. This is what I want with my music because I've done this since I was 12 years old when my father passed away. And when my d father passed away, I wrote a song about him and the death that affected me. And I wrote a l numerous songs about that day and how I'm feeling. The update songs, at the update songs, it was like, Damn, it just like back to back. I th this is how I feel, and with me bringing it out to the public, it makes me just feel like a I'm a rapper, of course, but b I just want to tell my own story. And then for those who's out there, even though my lyrics is shit, my rapping is shit, those lyrics will just connect, and I want to connect to you guys. And I want you guys to just take it in and feel like you're not alone. And that's why I joined this hip-hop game um, of writing my own pain. Because I feel like I'm not alone. The more that I write and produce, the more people that listen and get touched by it. I've been touched by music so many times. And it took me a place where I can just get this feeling off of me and with I just want to die this that's that feeling I, I just want to die and the writing I, I wrote this on a bus I remember sitting there on the bus I would look outside I would be going home I would be going to uh, Mount Pleasant schools I would be going back home both trips I would just write this song And I admit, that's a very good, that's a very good elementary rhyming skill. That's a really good song with a really good metaphor in it. I pat myself on that. I'm proud of that. I fucked up. I hate myself for fuck for. Oh no, I fucked up. I hate myself for everything I've done. All the evenness has just begun. Everybody's bitch needs to run. I'm gunning all the fuckers who broke my heart. Who said they were cool from the start? And trying to get through and I was whipped apart. Oh, the metaphors and that shit. I don't give a fuck if it's an elementary type of rhymes. Because I'm stupid and retarded. <laughs> because I've been trapped in fifth grade. i on the fifth grade reading level. Bingo. It's more about me. Anyways, um, 
hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. My project is on its way. This one, I feel like I need to step out of my comfort zone and create something I want to create. And of course, Tuna Beats will be in that album. Of course, I'm not that famous, but of course. I love Tuna Beats. They fucking kill it every single time when I use those beats. I, it just, <clears throat> if you don't know, I'm wearing a mask right now because of how <laughs> the camera is on and recording. Hopefully, if I check, it is. It has that recording sign. But, th this album, I believe, means to me a whole lot. I've been saying it from my, from the other albums. I got so many albums. This is why I stopped doing music. I have so many albums. I need to stick with one. Create that. Finish. And then just take a break. Go to the next. Create that. Finish. Take a break. And then just do these type of things. This is why I quit music. <laughs> I mean, I not quit music. I mean, this is why I stopped making music. It took a break. I took a break from it earlier throughout um, but because of COVID, 2020, but at the same time, it helped me benefit me because I was creating so much music. La la la. Um, I'm gonna go. Mental Hospital, here without you. I'm gonna go to Cypher. Oh, fake fuckers. Every single fucking thing, I'm telling you. Um. I'm just right now dead. I'm, I'm dead. Inside and. Just drained emotionally, <laughs> and this album is just keeping me on an even keel with my mental health. And thank God that it's calling me back, because now I can finally make music and finally just feel like what is right for me. And this album gave me full big creativity. Of course, it's gonna cost a lot, but fuck it. I want the best album. I want to make an album that makes me feel that this is a special one that I want to make. Love you guys to death. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. And I will see you guys in the next project or in the next video on my main channel. If I ever get to it, I will explain about that. Peace.